what is up guys welcome to my channel welcome back to my channel this is eccentric rockstar seed and i'm here with another intuitive message keep in mind take what resonates and leave what doesn't don't forget to like share subscribe and say something nice thank you or thank god My Lord, indeed I am for whatever, I am in need for whatever good you would send down to me in need. Amen. That's 2824. That's how you get out of tight situations and become secure, serene, peaceful, fruitful, comfortable, abundant, successful, those kind of things. It could be for your career, it could be for love, it could be for both. All right, I shuffled some cards and laid down some cards. I'm gonna shuffle these on camera. Make a meal. Somebody's real anal about the the precision of slicing up your produce and prepping your food. Everything has to be the same size, same cut. Alone time. Seems like you're throwing a party for yourself. Retreats. It's time to disconnect from the world. Healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Something about forgiving your parents puts you in a, the quest called love. The quest for peace, inner peace. You put your own soul, to, you put your own spirit to, to rest. I'm not saying it right. Not like deceased, but you put your own self at rest. Okay? Unleash... You're called to unleash your inner power by doing the things you enjoy doing. Start with little moments. They will give you more strength for next time. The more you nurture your needs, the more powerful you become. Also, you are special. The most special you this world is going to see. So follow your bliss and walk your own path and let your special talent shine bright for everyone to see. See why it's so important to stay to yourself. 32 can break down to a 5. And then there, then you have 2. 5 and 2 is 7. So you have supernatural abilities. This is somebody who has gatherings by themselves. You know, and is happier being by themselves than they do going out to party with people. This is how you learn yourself. This is somebody who decluttered their space. Mentally, spiritually, emotionally, tangibly. Retreat. This is somebody who does not need to be around people to feel serene or to feel at peace. Or at least once you did that, or once you do that, it's going to be nothing like it. It's no feeling like being free. The Destiny's Child song, where the lyrics go, there's no feeling like being free when your mind's made up something like that innocence oh you're being playful this time around okay you this is somebody who walks around a house in a underwear and that's it or just innocent like a baby who just has their pamper on or something like that and on the bottom is healing all that toxin it looked like bottles of, of poison and behind her or she could be the dr quinn medicine woman but all that poison all that toxinity we're going to write it down we're going to put it in a bottle and we're going to throw it in the ocean during our alone time and then we're going to make a meal and go sit on the beach and eat it as we retreat and deal with whatever we could do better as parents based off of how we were raised or just as simplistic as it sounds forgive your parents 
because that can create a blockage for your progress and it could be stopping your abundance from coming in if you have an issue with your parents that's unresolved healing you could be healing any setbacks that you've been experiencing as of recently and under that is awakening you got your big break I'm gonna leave that there you got your big break just being by yourself you know what you know, to see yourself or a situation where judgment, guilt, or blame is present. And it got something to do with your parents. It's like a shadow. It's like the years that you feeling like that, either to yourself or towards another, towards your parents, serves no useful purpose. You're starting to realize that as you sit by yourself and you learn yourself. Like, you can renew your own inspiration and clarity in relation to your question, whatever your question is. Though... You know through the eyes of innocence you have to know that your child your parents are innocent children too look they're healing too that's a boy and a girl that could be a representation that your parents have to still they are healing their inner child just like you have to heal yours and maybe they didn't heal it fast enough like y'all were going through things together spiritually i guess as a connection to the womb and the fruit of your father's loins if they're struggling, you're naturally going to struggle too because you're connected to them spiritually. And I feel like your parents are in a space now where they're starting to heal. I feel like your decision to take care, to take best care of yourself, you only eat foods that have natural remedies for healing that feeds the body organically. That's a part of your healing process. You're learning that as... You spend alone time. You see how she's not a big person, but she's going to whip herself back into shape. Hmm. That's pretty heavy, but serious. Not like sad, but serious. Like you want to fix your issues with your parents or your parents really want to fix the issue with you it's like a plea on a space of morality meets divinity and you're connecting you're reconnecting with the truth about all of y'all being under god's umbrella because it could have been much worse and from that perspective when you look at it your parents like you look at yourself all of y'all were innocent in the experience and you have to find your way back home, meaning back to the straight and narrow path. So through making your mistakes, you learn from them as you go. I think that could be what your parents were trying to teach you, but the pain was so great, you weren't in that receptive energy. You were in protective mode. So instead of looking at the faults in your parents, look at the best of what they did for you. Look around you. Look at your life. Look at your character. Look how you turned out to be. That tells you how appreciative and how at peace and how mature you really are. And what you learned from your parents, even if it wasn't very scientific, how they taught the lesson. And do it with intention of healing. Like set, actually set the intention to heal. And take time to reflect on the energy of healing, you know, by allowing it, you know, like shed light on all the areas that are still very much fresh wounds. It could be a wound that's 25 years old and it's still fresh as if it just happened. That's what's making it heavy. It's like you holding on to it. You got these emotions and these traumas trapped inside of your organs and they're going to make you sick. And it's, it has that heavy energy attached to it. And you're holding on to these issues and you're keeping the wound fresh by holding on to it. 
it's like there's so many ways you can like proactively attack these issues because you always know the shaitan is the, the third party and by keeping these wounds open you're allowing him a portal to have his soldiers come in and make you feel victimized and make you have be prone to addiction and make you feel like woe is me in some way or another and you focus on like the any time spent deepening your relationship with yourself or any facet of nature that has that calming aura this is why i talk a lot about grounding yourself like go outside and ground yourself or sit in water if you don't want to be in nature like some certain climates is a little cold right now so you really can't sit in nature like if you're up north east like um places like new york philadelphia new jersey is, is cold right now so you may can't go outside that much you wait till the sun is out and shining at its brightest and then go outside in nature but sit in water but when you feel like you can't you can do no more you know keep your keep it open that's when the miracle comes in you know you gotta get in that receptive energy so you can be able to receive it for that restoration of healing it comes in many forms such as listening to readers or light workers who are empathic and compassionate and just want to take their experiences and turn it into something positive anybody could do that cooking the way you choose to eat what you put in your body you're very conscious how you treat yourself you need time alone you can't you want to bleach yourself and run yourself ragged constantly being there for everybody you're not even you're neglecting your own children and i say that in a way where your inner child talk about your inner child you have to have a long time there's nothing lonely about it and i think you hit that rock bottom where you realize the importance of retreat i think it this is following an experience where there's public humiliation or embarrassment or just people showing their ass at the vulnerability at your expense but the the karmic lesson in it is for you to heal your family issues your love life benefits as you forgive your parents so whatever your parents did that discouraged you from trusting them and you ran away from them and you never fundamentally healed the issue you just ran away from them and then you walk around suppressing that and it starts it has its way of showing up in other areas in your life and you start to take it out on other people to a point where people start to treat you at the energetic level that you're operating at so if you're hurting that's kind of a lower vibration a frequency but you have become awakened you have you're starting to realize things about yourself that you want like you're you're starting to listen it's like something big had to happen to get you to just see it because you wasn't listening. Listen to this. A woman emerges from a bed of roses, symbolizing pleasure and pain. She is surrounded by cowslips called little keys of heaven or our lady keys, ladies keys for their shape in a room infused with rays of a sunrise shining through an old window pane her upward gaze is a recognition or seeing a light the illuminating power of light revered as a metaphor by many world cultures and faiths faiths faith f-a-i-t-h-s could pardon me it represents truth, godliness, and the dispelling of darkness. The auspicious card speaks of new light on your pathway. The process of awakening can take many forms, whether subtle, like the soft dawn of a new day, or challenging as when the searing blade of truth is needed to sever ties that no longer serve you well. Okay, it's time to wake up and own your part in your situation 
where it may be otherwise tempting to blame others or maybe you need to be brave and release old fears and that's what i think it is it's a lot of fears being suppressed that was suppressed and they're starting to make their way back to the surface and it's not so much about blaming others but the foundation of it is, is stemming from old fears outdated fears but you still have them you're still holding on to them like so many pentacles you got to make the conscious choice to like open open yourself up like like a rose that's symbolic like a rose and embrace a fresh perspective on your life see things from a different perspective and that transitional energy of awakening helps liberate you on your journey of awareness and assist you in discerning the valuable from the valueless this doesn't just this experience doesn't just come in you know who are great teachers of an experience like this like people who own they shit the best recovering addicts of any kind no matter what the substance was but that's that's really what this is i'm not singling out people who have drug addiction but just a recovering addict that's what it is that's what it means to be a recovering addict you got to hit that rock bottom before you start to really peel back them layers of what are you suppressing like you're you cry like it's a it's a a, a cry for help and then out of nowhere something happens it's like it's like a, a, a something is like taken off your eyes now your heart's piercing it's open and that's a mercy from god he's trying to help you and then you start discovering strengths you didn't even know you had i think i said i said that before but it's true you could be some of you could be healing alcohol addiction she got bottles behind her or just being possessive in nature and manipulating people's energy for control out of fears or being the best dressed lie in the room you see how good she looks but she don't want you to see how she really feel that could be a man or a woman just because it's a woman in the picture on me i'm talking about women now i'm talking about everybody okay including myself once upon a time i have many family issues to heal even though i'm not gonna make this all about me but some of these messages speak to me too i had to forgive my parents i wouldn't be where i'm at if i didn't pardon i didn't just forgive them i pardoned them the difference between pardoning and forgiving is you can forgive but you keep in mind that's what happened as opposed to pardoning it's like a fresh slate a fresh start like the seeker like the fool's car like it's innocent it's like it never happened for forgive and forget that's what it means to pardon somebody and out of respect it's not just out of respect that they are my parents it's about preserving that inner child about them. I treat them, I see them as innocent children. They were traumatized just like me. And it was just a generational curse that kept going. They had to work through things too. So how could I not have mercy on them? If I need mercy on me. Okay, both of them. Like I'm very sensitive about my parents. Just, they're like, my first, they like, they're just as much as, I see them through the lenses as I see my own children. They, they're innocent. They're babies. Fuck who got something to say about it. You have to, you can't grow and be mad at the same time. It doesn't work. You see that it don't work. Even if you don't admit it, you see it. It don't matter what the best dress lie is. The naked truth is way better than the best dress, best dress lie. And these bottles behind her can represent toxicities that you're carrying around. Just the woe was me attitude. It's everybody else's fault. It's never my fault. Like a narcissistic brew. Take that shit out your ledger. Alright, I don't want this to be that long because this is a serious enough message, but it's just for somebody. 
going back to the initial messages, you are discovering strengths by a addressing your weaknesses and killing that poison at the root you're healing you're catering to that inner child and you also i feel like the innocence that you're addressing and you're healing yourself you're healing your parents through pulling your own self together because they still your parents they didn't mean it and it's more than love they respect you they did the best that they could with what they had So the more alone time you spend, you're able to be stronger because you learn yourself better. No more codependencies. You don't need friends. It's okay not to have friends at particular times like this. I'm stopping because I got I, I'm emotional. All right, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.